noble spirit of a loving kindness. Karuna Zagade Na Jidasa with the noble spirit of a compassion. Purita with the noble spirit of sympathetic joy. Upeka with the noble spirit of equanimity. We are going to abide in this meditation center. As long as you are meditating, you should lift with the metta, karuna, mudita, and upeka. Upeka, especially meaning of upeka, you should try to stabilize your mind. Do not approach any extreme. I want to tell you to be clear, love, it is the one extreme. Hate, one extreme. Do not approach any extreme, love or hate. So Ubeka means equanimity. You should regard these two things, they are equal. Without approaching the love, without approaching the hate, you should go through the middle way. It is a upeka. As long as we are practicing meditation course, we're going to abide with a loving kindness, noble spirit, to wish welfare for others. Compassion karuna the noble spirit, to remove others sorrow and suffering. Burita, with the noble spirit, to feed enjoying others success food and happiness. You should abide with the equanimity without approaching any extreme love or hate. This is called Brahma Vihari. So all of my dear brothers and sisters, you should live as long as you are meditating with such a kind of noble, four kinds of noble spirit. Now review Abraham in conclusion. Itame Ponya Body Nyanasa, Body Nyanasa, Pachio, Pachio, Hodu, Hodu. It is a you are very good wishes, expressions of your good wishes. You are undertaking the ten precepts, you are undertaking the pro Brahmacharya. Four kind of a noble spirit. You are taking the meditation courses. These are aimed to attain the body jnana. Body jnana means enlightenment. So by the power of this meritorious deed, meritorious practice, meritorious speech, by the power of this and noble predicts, we wish to attain the body jnana, which is enlightenment in this Buddha's dispensation. Therefore, in conclusion, we used to say, Itami ponyam body jnana sa pachiyo hotu. This is my special wishes. Always I wish this. But uh, here we can analyze body jnana, savaka body jnana, pachika body jnana, samasa body jnana. Three stages of a body jnana. Whichever body jnana you can aim and you can wish. And the savaka body jnana also three stages. Pagadi Savaka, no man disciple. 
Sari Pota and Mavalana, Green and Great Disciple. Sari Buddha Jnana, take his seat at the right hand side of the Lord Buddha. Behind Sari Pota, he has 40 Mahasavaka. In the left hand side, Mavalana, take his seat. The main side of the Lord Buddha, Mangala Nantegesi. He also has another 40 disciples. All together, 80 disciples of the Sariputta and Mangala Sariputta and Mangala are Ega Savaka. They are disciples, all together, 80 Mahasavaka. Except these two eighty-two, other disciples are Bhagati Savaka. Whatever you aim, whatever you wish, you can attain. In the Bhikkhuni side also the same. Kima, outstanding in wisdom. She took her place right inside of the Lord Buddha. Oplawana, outstanding in supernatural power. She took her place right inside of the Lord Buddha, like in Bapalana. Behind these two theory, they have 80 great disciples. Beku and Bekuni is an equal right in Buddha's dispensation. In the attainment of the Supernatural power or in the attainment of the body jnana, equal, but the physical structure is very different. So may all of you attain in this very life. According to your aim and object, any body jnana, like a kema, oblawana, Tamadina, Brajari, etc. May all of you be peaceful and happy. Thank you. Be what a not delay that they sang, O da basayi, no. Sadara da ma would undo. Ben Sada ma would undo. Are you or no to come, Balan Arajan? A be what a not delay that they sang, O da basayi, no. Sadara da ma would undo. Are you or no to come, Balan? You are always paying respect and homage to the Buddha, Dhamma, Sangha, and your elders. When the Parva did this, 
noble spirit, being in respect to the Tupacin and your mother, father, and elder. This is a great advantage in Buddha's dispensation. By the part of this, being in respect, this is a traditional attitude being in respect to Tribajin and mother, father, and grandmother, father, or elderly. You will attain, you have to attain five advantages. Number one, may all of you be long life. May all of you be beautiful, not only physically, but also mentally beautiful. May all of you be happy and peaceful. And number four, May all of you be st strong. May all of you attain and complete very strong, strength, physical strength and mental strength, especially the strength of a wisdom. May all of you be perfect with this wisdom strength. And then, may all of you be always, as long as you lie in the dispensation, healthy. These five advantages are attainable, achievable by the power of us, homage to the Buddha, Dhamma, Sangha, mother, father, and grandmother, or your elder, etc. May all of you be peaceful and happy. This is a
liberation. As a seeker after the liberation, first of all, he must understand the truth. Truth or true nature. As long as we do not understand the true nature, we cannot be liberated. We will be bodies of so many kind of attachment. So to be liberated from the bodies of attachment, we must have try to understand the true nature of truth. Sainada <coughs> Gorama entering into the forest, Uruvela forest, that is the northeastern part of India. He approached so many ascetics, Asian Indian ascetics, for six long years. They spared him. They will teach me the technique how to search for the truth. Approaching, approaching, approaching so many ascetics. Sadhu, Brimajika, Samana, Yamana, many. The country of India is very wonderful. It is a land of religion. Before the Buddha, before the Jesus, before the Muhammad, many different kinds of religions were appeared in the land of India. But in those days it was called Jamuri Park, not means India. According to the Bali language, they were called Sadhu. No, Sadhu means very good person, noble man. Now it is because of accent, Sanskrit accent. <laughs> they are funny men. Sanskrit as in sadhu. Actually, in Burmese accent, sadhu, meaning good person. Even they renounce and they are sensual life, household life, in the area of the forest, such as for depression. Very good man, Sadhu. Prabhajaka. Prabhajaka also, same meaning, renouncing the household life, ordain as the ascetics, searching for liberation and truth, samana, dhyamana, Paribhajaka, Sadhu, they are converted from household life to homeless life. Now, all of us shame the ladies and gentlemen. They shave your head. They don't have a house now. But I don't believe they really renounce their house. I've done a very basic course of the return to their home. <laughs> it is very important to do actual renouncer. Whole life renouncer is very important. Like Dimitra, like Nyanisa. We don't have a house, but we have many Buddhas. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I believe in the Babajita, who, Brain Pajaka, who, renunciation, who, you are searching for liberation. You are to be liberated from many 
different kinds of attachment. Therefore, we must train our mind. Now, physical culture is enough. Physically, really polite, really culture. And the training of the Buddha. Very wonderful. Buddha is the only teacher. He taught so many kind of way. He's in a culture and mental culture. Now you have a physical culture completely now. Being in respect, sitting on the floor, homage at the Buddha, the Mahayan Sangha. But mental culture is the really essence of the end of your life. And the Buddha's teaching, Buddha stated many kind of technique how to train the mind to be culture. Vandana, Sabalan, Satan, Durekhan, Dauri, Vareya. The mind is shaken, moving. The mind is fluttering, fluttering. The mind is very hard to control, to train. The mind is very difficult to read, difficult to go. The mind is very difficult to protect. As a seeker after the truth, Try to train the wild mind to be polite, to be cultured. Well-guided man, well-trained man, produces peace and happiness. This is a Buddha's original word. A Buddha's dispensation, even others' dispensation, Jain dispensation, Hindu dispensation, they have different kinds of technique, respectively, how to train the mind. But in other dispensation, except Buddha's dispensation, they have only technique to tranquilization of the mind, to tranquilize of the mind. They cannot penetrate the truth or true nature within ourselves. So, ladies and gentlemen, my dear brothers and sisters, in this occasion, in this morning, I would like to tell you very brief suggestion, very brief teaching of the Lord Buddha. At the time of Lord Buddha, Within 45 years, <coughs> the Buddha lived 14 places on this Jabudipa in rainy retreat. Especially Buddha dwelled Sarawasti Jidavana for 25 years. 
other places in other 13 places 20 years only in Jita grew Sarvasti would have dwelt 25 years the people who are living in Sarvasti is very lucky very fortunate they have a golden opportunity to live together with the Buddha for 25 years. They have a chance uh, three times in a day to be respect the Buddha, to listen the Dharma within 25 years. We cannot estimate, we cannot guess how many ladies and gentlemen, Tira and Tiri, enlightenment, enter into the Nibbana. How many? We cannot estimate. So, proper place is very important. No? Now you have proper place here. You know Buddha was born in Saga State, near the Kabila was too. This estate, this kingdom, his native. Saga kingdom, Kabila was to stay. Kabila was to city. In his native, he dwelt only one wasa. His mother passed away seven days after his birth, reborn in the losing the heaven. His father, after his uh, six was up, his father so daughter, I think the highest enlightenment became the in the Brady Mother. He's the foster mother, Mama Jami Gorbi, in 500 princess renowned the luxurious bellies, shaving their head, entering into the Buddha city's organization, and ordained, attained highest enlightenment. So Sarah uh, Kabila was to after they are renouncing, become quiet and peaceful. But have brought all of his relatives to the Nibbana together with him. Here what I mean, Buddha spent only one wasa, one rainy retreat in Kabila was to. Sarawasti, how many years? Twenty-five. Sarawasti is a Buddha. No, Buddha is a relative. King Gosla, Anada Vidika, Uisaka, they are not Buddha as a relative. But because of I as a devoted spirit, they saw the Buddha in. Bhikkhu Sangha and Bhikkhu Nisanga properly there will go and dwell peacefully and Sarah was the port of the bed 25 years. We cannot count people who attain Enlightenment became Arahant, entirely into the Mahaprabhu Mata. We cannot estimate in Sarawasti for 25 years. Why Buddha was a dwelling in Sarawasti? In Bhavis pronunciation, Tavati. Jitavana. Bhavis pronunciation, Zitavana. See the one John died. No? 
donated by the Anada Bediga. I want to ask you a joke question. Who was the wife of Anada Bediga? Lady Dona, who is it? Don't say who is it. Well, we don't have a strong look at it. Wisaka is a surprise. You don't know Wisaka is a husband. No other opinion. Wisaka is a husband. Bonya Wutena, another rich man. And Jedawana, very famous another opinion. But his wife, no more. Who is it? Ponya Lekana Dewi. Do not forget. Another Medica in Ponya Lekana Dewi. Bede Dorida Jita Wana. Honestly. Hundred thousand monks can dwell very big. Honestly, they built. And the eastern side, eastern gate of the Sawati city, Pogbarama, no Jidam. Pogbarama, eastern monastery. It was a building donated by Ponya Wotana and Wisaka. Two different monasteries, two different donors. Oda and Beku Sangha, Beku Nisangha, happily lived for 25 years in Sarawasti, Chitawana, Sandai, Obarama. When you visit the Buddha Gaya as a pilgrimage, please contemplate such a kind of past story. You will have peace, will have in your heart. I need a notified time. Now on 2nd of December, I will go again. You can follow me. <laughs> so many brothers and sisters, within 25 years, Countless number of ladies and gentlemen, Tira and Teddy, attain, attain, attain enlightenment, became Sodapanna, Zagragami, Nagami, Aran, many. But the king of Kosala, this is the Kosala country, king of Kosala, facility Kosala. He nothing attained enlightenment. But he had a chance, 25 years, to live together with the Buddha, no? Nothing attained it. The most important thing is we must have. Intellectual eye is very important to see the Buddha. <coughs> Physical eyes, no? You have, everyone has physical eye, but intellectual eye, the eye of wisdom, most important to see this is the Buddha. I want to tell you one example. After attaining of enlightenment, the Buddha dwelt seven weeks around the body tree. Forty-nine days. After the forty-nine days spending around the body tree, the Buddha traveled, traveled to Diyapa, Diyaparanasi, to preach Dharma Chekha. Five Guru essays were waiting to live in the Dhamma. Buddha travel. 
I estimate almost a 200 miles. Now in the we drive it by a car on the road 200 miles. Both are straight, travel at the straight and maybe 100 miles. Who the trouble? Around the body tree, how many did Buddha spend? 1490. How many Indian people a day in life around the body tree? Not anyone. To the east of my body tree, a Jabala body, eh, sorry, a Jabala bayan tree. A Jabala means a goalkeeper. I think not only the goalkeeper, but also, come by also where living under the, the, the this bayan tree. Only the hundred years apart from these two trees. Under the body tree, Buddha did the enlightenment. The whole one is a shaking. All of a deity in the sky, singing and dancing. Hundred years only far from the body tree, under a Jabala tree. Many go keeper, many come keeper. They don't know this is a Buddha. They don't have the eye of a wisdom. They don't have an ear of a wisdom. They don't have a chance and do listen to the Dhamma. They miss the golden opportunity to be rest with the Buddha. Seven weeks around the body tree, forty nine days. No Brahmin, no Indian, no any Indian people. Nothing attain the enlightenment. Nothing be respect the Buddha. Nothing offer to the Buddha any kind of a food. With the body nandi. No food for the Buddha. End of a body nandi. Too much. No? Arriving in the Uruvela forest. They came to know. Buddha attained the enlightenment under the body tree. They run fast to the body tree. They offer the food. After body nandi, Buddha took one time food. Who offer? Too much. They are from where? They are from where? From Oklahoma. No? Near the Yango. Burmese people are the first and donor. Burmese people are the first donor to the Buddha. <laughs> the eye of a wisdom is very important. The ear of a wisdom is very important. They offer the food. They request the Buddha, teach me the Dhamma. Buddha taught the Dhamma. First, the listen of the Dhamma from Bama. <laughs> After the listening of the Dhamma, Buddha Saranan Gachami, Sangan Saranan Gachami. How many times? Huh? No Dhamma Saranagachami, uh, no Sangha Saranagachami, sorry. Buddha Saranagachami, Dhamma Saranagachami. Not the Yadanga arises, no? They, are, they took two refuges in the world. Two Pamisi people became the first and foremost Buddhists. Bama. You are very lucky today, Obama. <laughs> if you go to the area, oh, many beggars around the body tree. So noisy. No? To the south, west corner of the body tree, Islam people established in the mosque. We are chanting here, they are 
also chanting in the mosque. Soon, I see. We cannot meditate. Prabhupada prays. No? So, physical act is another important. Intellectual eye and intellectual ear is very important. How many years the Buddha spent in Sarawasti? 25 years. King Cosma lived together with the Buddha for 25 years. Nothing attained him. Anana Vedika and his wife, <coughs> Onyalakana Devi attain first thing enlightenment only. No more second and third, the highest stage. In the eastern gate of the Sarawasti, Onya Wodana and Wisaka also attain the first thing enlightenment only. They have no higher stage. Because they support Buddha's dispensation completely over hundred thousand and hundred thousand months we are living. They are very supporter. They are striving, they are striving well prayer for us. This is a first aiming object of the Buddha's sons and daughters. Lankadasya, striving welfare for others. Nyadadasya, striving welfare for relatives and friends. And last, third one, striving for oneself. Three aiming objects we must have. Anurabhinika and Visaka are striving welfare for others. They are neglected for themselves to practice. They are like only the first of enlightenment. But the King Kosala, nothing enlightenment. Nothing understanding any kind of a tama. In the Divinity, many discourses, many Jataka stories taught by the Buddha himself for the King Kosala. He knows nothing. One day, he went to the Savati, uh, Jidavana, approached to the Buddha, paying respect, and then he said, Oh Lord Buddha, as a king, we are so busy. We have had so many tasks to do. So busy, so busy, we are so busy, like you. <laughs> we are so busy, like Janesra. Therefore, please to teach me very short. This is a king causing us a request to teach the Dhamma. Very wonderful king. Sometimes he went to the Jeta Guru to be respected the Buddha and someday, one day, someday, two, three times. Someday, after two, three months, he went to only one time. He forgot all the Buddha. Very deluded king. Every Sayyuta Nikaya, Kosala Sayyuta. Almost hundred discourses, hundred sutras <coughs> were expounded for the King Kosala. Now they are taking like that. He requested to the Buddha, Oh Lord Buddha, we are busy, we are so busy, very busy, therefore I cannot sit in front of the Buddha for a long time. I cannot sit in front of the Buddha for a long time, not more than 30 minutes. <coughs> Internationalist time, 
only body by meaning. Therefore, I cannot say long time. So teach me. Very short. Buddha said, Apamadi na sambadita. After that, Buddha remained silent. King Kosala looking at the Buddha's face. Oh Lord, Lord, we are so busy. <coughs> Please teach me, very short, to the point. I cannot say it for a long time here you in front. Buddha said, second time, Apamadi na samadita. And remain silent. And at that time, request again, Buddha said, Abhamadeena Samadita. <coughs> King Kosta did not understand what the Buddha means. Abhamadeena Samadita, very shock, the matter. It is a kava whole deeply. Sutra, Vinaya, Vinva. A fine collection, fine Nikaya. Urato with it for many years. To summarize the whole Tibetan, to summarize the, the whole Buddha's dispensation, what I used to say, Akumadina Samadita. Kekasala repeated again, Buddha. Please you teach me, short to the point. I cannot say a long time. Now you take the time, 30 minutes. I want to go back. What I said, hey Gosala, my Namanda finish. <laughs> my Namanda is a finish. Now done. You can go. Really? Yes. Buddha. <laughs> Make little commentary, Abhamadina Samadita. What Abhamadina Samadita mean? <laughs> Gosala, really deluded king. In the Myanmar tradition, every time, end of undertaking the five or eight or ten or precept. After undertaking the precept, all of them, teacher, used to say, Abhamadina Sambhalita. Every listener say, Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. Someday Abhamadi, someday Abhamadi. They also do not understand what the Buddha means. I'm satisfied. Now we are also working together with the Kodras related. Do not understand Abu Madina Samadita. Many of brothers and sisters, Abu Mada, essence of Abu Mata, mindfulness. In Bali language, it is called Sati. If you do have a sati completely, everything will be complete. Eh? If you do not have a sati, mindfulness, you do not have nothing meditation, nothing sila, nothing samadhi, nothing vinyā. Sati is a foundation of Buddha sasana. Therefore, Buddha. Especially is from the Sati Patana. Sati is the foundation of all Buddha Sasana. It's very important. Sati is scholars that translate awareness, mindfulness. It is not really important. We do not argue, or it is a translation. But today I'm going to say, all of my dear brothers and sisters, Sati is a very powerful mental state. 
अपनी लाभना लेकर ना सदी आसा मौसना रासा आरे का बिजु बताना दिस इज कमेंट्री नंबर वन सदी इज एवरी बाबू टू कंट्रोल माय टू गार्ड माय we can say as a guardian or controller of the mind it is sati if you do have a sati controlling the mind guardian of the mind will be completed parani bala we don't need say kamran samaria i do not give any living be alina dana we don't need say kamran samaria I think the priest said, "To go and stay wrong, taking the things not given by owner, etc. This is sila. Today you are not the temple priest, sila. Sila means a discipline to control bodily action. Nay, said to control the power action. This is a sila. Only two." According to the commentary, ten precept, eight precept, five precept. When we summarize this as sila, only the two things you have to undertake. You can control your bodily action, not to kill, not to steal. You can control your verbal action, not to speak any untruth, unpolite. Prevalent of being not useless speech, and you need to speak. You must speak. You must be true. Must be honest. Must be polite. Must be pleasant. You must speak. You must be beneficial. You must speak. You must be simply well by other. These are discipline to control. Kaya gan, wasi gan. Right? Kaya gan, orderly action. Wazi gan, bubble action. To control bubble action and orderly action, it is very powerful, which is sati. Without sati, you cannot be completed in sila state. To be completed in sila, you should have complete sati mindfulness. Therefore, sati is a foundation of your sila. Without sati, sila is gone. Abhamati na sambadhi ta. Be complete with a sati. To be complete, you are tired, and I think it's a precept. What I said about my day in Asamari, I can't cause that to not understand. I believe today you will understand. Okay, lah. Sila, and I think it's a precept. With the mind of fullness, this is a primary state. Huh? A second stage in Buddha's teaching, samadhi. I want to do translate samadhi means uh, mental stability. What is it? Stability of the mind. To stabilize the mind, we need to control with mind. Without mind and fullness, the body gone. Therefore, sati is a foundation of samadhi. Samadhi, uh, sati, no lacky, salt. <laughs> In every dish, uh, without salt, no more taste. <laughs> sati, no lacky, water. Without water, we cannot survive. So, ladies and gentlemen, apamari na damadita, wonderful tomato, 
very short to the point. Try to complete with the mind of goodness. If you can try to complete it with the mind of goodness, you will be complete. Sila, Samadhi, and the Panya also. Panya means analyzing in detail to understand. Analyzing in detail to understand. I want to tell you one example. What is the inside of this glass? There's a car. You're going to say inside of a car, the water. You don't have a wisdom. You don't understand the real nature of the water. But if it, commonly in our today, everyone compared this is the water. Conventionally true. But what is a realistic nature in the class? And the scientists say, say at all, it is no water. You can analyze in detail two elements that compound. Hydrogen, oxygen. From P to head. From head to P. In this very particular body. What I am. We must analyze in detail with the mindfulness. What I am, I have it done it without wisdom. It's another to a David. It is a gentleman, analytic knowledge. This is real wisdom. Scientists say H2O, no? hydrogen and oxygen, two elements are coming combined, compound element. But when we analyze into two elements, one group into oxygen, one group into hydrogen. Water disappear. It is very important to disappear. I, my, as long as I to destroy the this I concept, my concept, you cannot be liberated any kind of a bondage of Sorrow and suffering. Ladies and gentlemen, if you show this a cup of the water to the Buddha, Buddha will say, Hey, Yanisra, not only the two elements, but also four elements. According to the Buddhist philosophy, you get by how many elements? Four. Now I see the shaking air element. Good nature. Keep on touch. Keep on touch. Longer keep on touch. One, two, three hours later. Good nature change into one hot nature. Cool, hot, cool, hot, cool, hot. This is one kind of element, teach or touch. Liquidity, fluidity. Now I'm mean, talking about 45, almost 40 minutes. Liquids are coming out <laughs> from my body. Abort heart. Abort heart. We put this cup of water into the deep freezer. One or two hours later, please pull up, look at Totally change hardness in nature, like a stone. The ice is very hard. How many days are we see? Shaking, moving. Liquid and fluid. Cool or hot. Cool or hot. Hardness or softness. Four. Element, doctor, super scientist. (coughs) 
without mindfulness, we you know, attain such a kind of a wisdom. Without sati, we you know, attain such a kind of a supreme wisdom. Apamadina samadita. Very short to the point. If this is a very short stanza, very short words of the little Buddha, three kinds of Buddha sasana are included. Sila, Samadhi, Panya. Sila means to control body and speech with the mind and goodness. Samadhi means a mental stability to guard the mind with the mind and goodness. Second, and that one, to analyze this physical body and mental body, two kind of body, how many materialities are compounded, how many mentalities are compounded. Analytical knowledge is very important to lead enlightenment. No? So, ladies and gentlemen, in this very short, Words of the Lord Buddha, Apamadina Sambadita. Three Buddha sasana are compounded. But the very short teaching to the very deluded king, nothing understanding. End of the, this explanation. King Kosala, Buddha remained silent. King Kosala said, Oh Lord Buddha, you explained it a long time. We are very busy. Uh, let me take leave. Okay, you know your time. Buddha said, I must know my time. Now, 45 minutes. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, Apamati Na Sabari. No? Abhamada means <coughs> guardian of the mind, which is a steed. Controller of the mind, which is a steed. Analyzing what I am. Sati in wisdom associated. Sometimes only the sati without pinya, not associated with the pinya, just gain control only. If this is a, the associated with the uh, pinya, no? you can analyze, analyze in detail, like analyzing the glass of water. So ladies and gentlemen, from head to head, from head to feet, first of all, by undertaking the precept, you now already control your speech and your body is enough under the power of a sati. Second stage, you must try to step up your jaw to control your mind monkey to be stabilized on a single object. This is Abhamadina, second meaning. And the last one, after the stability of the mind, if we can attain the enough stability of the mind, we must analyze, analyze in detail what I am, what I am. When we can analyze in ourselves in detail, you have no more concept of I and mine, and that I, you will be liberated from the bondage of around you. This is a very powerful teaching of the Lord Buddha. Ladies and gentlemen, in the initial standard of the time, now another 40, 50 minutes, 50 minutes, okay? Appamadina Sambhalita. Be mindful. Be aware what I am. 
to complete your task. What are your task? Your task to complete the sila, to be completed samadhi, to be completed the wisdom. These are three only your task are to do in this very life. This is the essence of your life. In the last day, last minute of the Lord Buddha, Buddha said on the eve of my prayer, in the southwest corner of Abushi Nagara, Handadani Bikwi Amandiyami Wo, Vayarama Sankara Abamadina Sambarina. Oh, my dear brothers and sisters, I would like to say my last word. Vayadama Sankara Abamadina Sambarita. Two sentences. Vayadama Sankara Abamadina Sambarita. Vayadama Sankara means all the conditioned things and compounded things have constantly flux. All conditioned things and compounded things constantly flux. To complete your time, you wish what? This is nature of formation. May all of you, all of you be attain some stages of enlightenment and they support us the dispensation of a Madina Sambari Ta. Hang on your donation. I will say you for your donation. Repeat after me. Imani, Imani, Shivarani, Shivarani, Dadama Utuni, Dadama Utuni, Oda Dekso Arami, Oda Dekso Arami, Sangasa, Sangasa, Ima, Ima, Imani, Imani, Shivarani, Shivarani, Dadama Utuni, Dadama Utuni, Oda Dekso. Donation is a manifestation of non-attachment. If we can cut attachment little by little, little by little, you will be liberated. I want to tell you one story in the last three. Last uh, 15 years ago, from Japan, very famous uh, Japanese man, received a very big uh, title, Rewarded 
award Myanmar government ministry of religious affairs Ega Maha Sadma Jodiga title. There is a Japanese man receiving the title awarding the Myanmar government from Nibiru to my Buddhist academy, from Yangon to my academy, come in. I also honor for his receiving this great title. They have given many presents, presents, given, given. My uh, my Buddhist Academy professor lecturers are given, given, given. He receiving, 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 receiving. Full of present he embraced. <laughs> After that, he didn't say thank you, Dr. Janisa, etc. He didn't say. But he requested me, I want I do tell you very short Dhamma. I didn't want to say you thank you. You give him, you are giving too much a present, too much a donation. You are donor and giver, renouncer. I am a receiver. Now receive, receive, receive many donations. Receiver is a become heavier and heavier. <laughs> become heavier and heavier. I must have borrowed a 24 wheels uh, truck. <laughs> Receiver is a become heavier, heavier. Donors have become lighter and lighter. This is a dhamma. Become lighter, lighter as a daughter. You see the nature of the lighter and heavier. Lighter one going up and up, up and up. <laughs> no? <coughs> heavier is going down and down and down and down. <laughs> and you know what? You go down up to the Awiji head. <laughs> you going to up. Up to the Brahma one and up to the Nirvana because you have become lighter now as a Toda. I receive anything, I am now heavier. <laughs> so I will let you donate, redonate, Beku Sangha in my Buddhist Academy. Everything gone at that time. Myself also become lighter. <laughs> <laughs> Good training, good mind. This is a 
You are blessed by you are called. By you are said. Thank you.